Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your weekly horoscope forecast for August 26th to September 1st. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful darlings. So we're going to be looking at the date August 26th to September 1st. And so let's jump right in here. We're going to look at your day today, your love interest feelings, the block shillings and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so let's go ahead my Libra's Romantic Love Life, August 26th to September 1st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, uh, the first thing is coming out for me for you guys is somebody wants someone to come back home. Okay, I know it's a very specific message, Libra, so you have to take that as it resonates. All right. All right, so this is your love interest feelings. This is the blockage for this week. Moon card. So there's like the state of confusion going on here with the moon card energy. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. The bottom of the deck, hmm. Someone feels like stuck in the middle of a situation, but something has come to light here. There's something to do with family around this. Could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy and them wanting to speak some type of truth. Okay. So the blockage this week is the state of confusion. So it's like, am I seeing this clearly? You know the example I always give you guys for the moon card, right? I go on vacation, I get there at night, everything looks great, right? You wake up in the morning, the sun's out, and it's like, what the heck happened? Okay, I'm like, think about that, that's the moon. You're like, is this a dog or is this a wolf, right? Am I seeing a loyal, devoted person or am I seeing someone who is going to be like, you know, wild and free and, you know, passionate <laughs> uh, that maybe not committing? Uh, so there's this understanding of like, what, am I, what road am I taking here, right? Where am I going with this? Like, so there's a state of confusion here. So I see that on the 26th here of August, the judgment card can talk about somebody coming in with some type of an apology, <clears throat> or it could be talking about something going in your favor, okay? It's so like when something's ruled in your favor, something goes in your favor. Let's find out. What's gonna be Libra's romantic love life for August 26th to September 1st? Show me cards in each you see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out. Interesting. Remember I said something about coming back home. And now we have this house in this home situation. And somebody who wants to apologize, they want to reconcile it with this house and home situation. On the 26th. Hmm. All right, let's keep going, Libra. What's kind of my... Oh, of course the cards want to fly down there. Okay. Let's just grab that. Let's see, what was it? Okay, someone wants to free themselves from other people and bring something to light and hoping there's going to be success around this situation. Hmm, okay. What's going to have my Libra's romance cycle love life? August 26th to September 1st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So you can see that there has been some issues here, right, in the past there. And now things are starting to clear up. So as a result, it seems like someone's very emotional, so they're going to take some actions to apologize, to heal a situation, right? And this is going to make things go in your favor when it comes to this house and home situation. Okay, so let's keep going here, Libra. What's going to be my Libra's romantic love life August 26th to September 1st? Show my cards in the see. Show my cards in need to see. Yeah. 
Now, this is you feeling uncertain about the situation, right? Because obviously we come back to what's going on with the blockage this week. Is it a dog? Is it a wolf? Someone seeing you as their ideal partner here on the 27th. And there's a happy energy here. Okay, going further. And there's definitely someone trying to force the issue. They don't care what the resistance is. You can see that, right? There's a polar bear, and it's like, it's going against the, the grain here, coming forward. This is rather shocking to you, surprising to you. I don't feel like you expected this person to do this. Full card could represent someone new here, coming in on the 28th. Okay, could also talk about like a naivete, a fresh start, new opportunity. Remember, for my new readers out there, that the full card is like the child card energy of Lenormand or Kipper. Okay, so it's like naivete, um, you know, um, a new person, all right, childishness. All right, let's just see. What's this clarified by? So someone sails in a state of despair when it comes to you and wants to take a risk leap of faith or they're concerned that there's a new person around you, okay? Yeah, we see there's some kind of potential here. Or this, I could see this another way for some of you guys too as well, that there is a new person in a state of despair because they realize that there's a lot of potential between you and them. But there is a defensiveness here and they don't know if it's safe for them to kind of come forward to start a relationship here with you, right? We have uncertainty. We have this massive shock and surprise and this defensive energy here coming in here for the next three days. So let's keep going here. All right, so Hierophant for me does represent marriage. I've been doing personal readings for a very long time, thousands and thousands and thousands of readings. And yes, the Hierophant always comes up as marriage involved. So if you're not married or someone in the situation is not married, then there could be a marriage being offered, okay, Hierophant card or I know some of you guys will tell me that you don't believe in marriage and stuff like that, so that's fine. What it's saying is somebody wants a traditional long-term commitment with you, okay? And it looks like they wanna heal this situation if marriage isn't involved for some of you guys. And they're trying to overcome some kind of obstacle or blockage here to fix and heal this situation. So far I can see like you have somebody coming forward who's apologizing. And, and something about this that you didn't expect, you were just like, okay, this is a shock, this is a surprise. This is out of this person's character. Are they a dog or are they a wolf? <laughs> and then there's this concern about this potential new person over here, and they're getting desperate, and they want to fix and heal the situation. And some of you guys, if there's not already marriage involved with the situation, they may be offering marriage. Okay, so this looks like you guys on the 30th, you guys are having fun with friends here on the 30th, going out having a good time. And something just nudges you on this day because we see the spiritual understanding here with the priest card energy coming out. Yeah, you're gonna get some kind of interesting sign here that could seem like a coincidence but isn't. Okay, so watch out for the 30th Libra for a sign around your romantic love life which will seem like a coincidence but isn't, okay? because um, this could be why you're out with friends and stuff or out having a good time, okay? So just pay attention to the signs on this day. Going further. Yeah, you won't trust it at first, I don't feel like, with a deception card coming out. Okay, so I see on the 31st, there's something about an ending for a new beginning or a transformation here. So let's see what this death card is clarified by. So, there's like defensiveness about this situation, okay. So there could be three people around this and there's an ending of one of the situations here. Like maybe some of you guys have more than one option or when it comes to a friendship, there's an ending of a friendship because of this concern about this potential new love connection and this healing of this old other connection here, okay. You have to take that as it resonates though. Yeah, something's coming to light here. And it looks like you're going to have to make a decision very soon. It looks like on the 1st of September, 
Someone's taken very strong romantic actions towards you, Libra. Yeah, very strong romantic actions. Let's see what that's about. They're doing this to get your attention, by the way. So what does it mean when you take romantic gestures? Let's talk about it, okay? You know my example for those who've been watching me for a while. I'm gonna buy you flowers, I'm gonna take you out somewhere, um, I wanna come fix your screen door, okay? That's the romantic card there coming out for you guys, okay. Yeah, someone's like, I wanna be there for you. I just wanna do whatever I can to make you happy. All right, so let's, let's move here, and then we're gonna to go to the overall outcome so I can sum it up, because sometimes the day-to-day -day can be a little bit confusing, I understand that, so we're gonna, we're gonna sum this up at the end here. All right, so how does your love interest feel about you? They feel defensive. Looks like they want to come towards you or travel to you and speak to you about this truth. Your love interest has a lot of regrets, especially about some kind of an infringing party here when it comes to loyalty and devotion to you. Your love interest has really found you very amazing and wants a sense of security in this connection and has been thinking about you very heavily. Your love interest missed you, misses you. And I do feel like there's a spiritual connection between you and them and they do think about you a lot with this obsession card. So, coming back to the blockage or obstacle this week, is it a dog or is it a wolf? Let's see. So there's a, a sense of feeling like my hands are tied, like I'm going around in circles and I'm confused about what to do. And there's this major shock and surprise, so this, whatever's gonna happen here is gonna take you by surprise this week you are gonna be very uncertain, but the shock and surprise about this defensive energy about healing the situation, because you don't know if they're telling you the truth, and you have to make a decision of what's gonna make you happy. Right, an offer is being presented here, key card energy. So, let's now see what's gonna happen for the overall outcome here. Empress is saying, you're so attractive, Libra. And this is somebody you've been waiting for and looks like you're contemplating, should I give this person my heart or not? Okay, very clear cut, right? This is someone that you have been waiting for, Libra, so I want you to ask yourself the question, who is it you've been waiting for? That's the person that's gonna take you by surprise here, okay? That's gonna shock you this week. That's coming in with this apology. This is the one you're debating on. You get knowledge of this travel situation and some advice. You're looking at this situation like, all right, is there finally a light at the end of the tunnel? Wow, there's positive changes coming in for my romantic love life, but am I gonna be stuck in the middle of the situation? Has it really changed? Is there really gonna be a long-term commitment? It's really hopeful, star card energy. I need to think about this because there's been a lot of regrets, a lot of things have happened. Are they really gonna be more than just a friend? I've waited for this. You know, um, I do have options and I don't know what to do. And is the timing, is this really the timing? Is it, is it really, is it real, the real deal? Remember, you're gonna see a sign here, um, one that seems like a coincidence but is not, is gonna show you the miracle of the situation. But you may not trust it. All right, let's get you guys some advice. Can I ask advice from Libras? When it comes to the romantic love life, the highest is good for the best possible offer for them. August 26th to September 1st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Things are not going to come together the way you expect them to, Libra. When it comes to your ambition, get ready to receive. Listen to your intuition. All right, so it's talking about thoughts and plans here. So give yourself some time to think about this when it comes to making a decision, a choice. Because it's, it should be about long-term loyalty and devotion in your desire. And if that is the case, you can have a victory here. All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. I hope you guys have a, a good next couple of days, and I will see you guys soon.